Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. It is a happy person who is concerned with wisdom and who uses good sense. Anyone who studies the ways of wisdom will also learn her secrets. Go after wisdom like a hunter looking for game. Look into her windows and listen at her doors. Come as close to her house as you can get and you will have a fine place to live. Build your home there, safe beneath her protecting branches and shading from the heat. If you fear the Lord, you will do this, master his law and you will find wisdom. She will come to welcome you like a mother or a young bride. She will give you wisdom and knowledge like food and drink. Rely on her for support and you will never know the disgrace or failure. She will make you more honored than all your neighbors. When you speak in the assembly, she will give you the right words. You will find happiness and genuine joy. Your name will be remembered forever. But people who are foolish or sinful will never even catch a sight of wisdom. She will have nothing to do with considered people. She never enters the mind of liars. It is not appropriate for a sinner to sing a hymn or praise because his worship is insincere. A hymn should be an expression of wisdom inspired by the Lord himself. If you touch tar, it will stick to you. And if you keep company with arrogant people, you will come to be just like them. Don't try to lift something too heavy for you. And don't keep company with people who are richer and more powerful than you. You cannot keep a clay pot next to an iron kettle. The pot will break if it hits the kettle. If a rich person wrongs someone, he can afford to add insult to injury. But if a poor person is wronged, he is forced to apologize for himself. A rich person will use you as long as he cannot profit from it. But when you need him, he will leave you helpless. He will leave you as long as you have anything and he will gladly drain you dry. If he needs you, he will trick you with his smiles and cheerful, kindly words. Do you need anything? He will ask. He will feed you until you are embarrassed. Finally, when he has drained you two or three times over, he will laugh at you. If you see him later, he will pretend he doesn't know you and will pass you by. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For every was receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened.